there's always been a suspicion that the two diseases are related to each other, um, and I definitely see it in my patients. A lot of thyroid cancer patients come in with a history of breast cancer. And so um, one of the main findings of the study is that, yes, there is an increased risk for the development of thyroid cancer after breast cancer. Um, I found that the highest risk are among younger patients. And um, the tumors, the breast cancer tumors that these patients have tend to be smaller um, than the general population, than the breast cancers in the general population, and there's a higher percentage of invasive ductal carcinoma. Um, in addition, more of these patients uh, receive adjuvant radiation therapy, um, and that's significant on a univariable analysis, but not significant on a multivariable analysis. Um, but I still think that adjuvant radiation therapy does contribute to the story, um, because if you kind of put it all together, younger patients with smaller invasive cancers are likely going to be treated with breast conservation therapy and that's only made possible with adjuvant radiation therapy. Um, but I don't think that it explains the whole story because when you look at the thyroid cancer that then develops in these patients and you compare it to the thyroid cancer that develops in the general population, um, if it was just radiation, uh, a radiation induced effect, you would expect that there would be a higher percentage of papillary thyroid cancer, which is the more common form of thyroid cancer, but also the more common form that you see with radiation-induced thyroid cancer. Um, but in fact, we find that the histological types that, um, it, that develop in these patients are, there's a higher percentage of tall cell papillary thyroid cancer, a higher percentage of oxyphilic follicular thyroid cancer, and a higher percentage of anaplastic cancers. They all tend to be a little bit more aggressive forms um, of thyroid cancer than what we see in the general population. Um, but these cancers tend to be smaller and less patients uh, receive uh, radioactive iodine ablation. So I kind of put that all together to mean that, you know, um, we're seeing more aggressive forms of thyroid cancers in these patients, but we're actually catching them earlier and so uh, the prognosis is still very good.